Good afternoon, y'all. How y'all doing today? My name is Anthony. This is Paul Motor Prepared, and today I got one for you. We're going to make charcoal, but this isn't something I've actually tried before. I've made char cloth using this method, but I haven't made charcoal, so we're going to do a little experiment and see if it actually works. And what's going to happen is this fire, I gotta, you know, I just started maybe half an hour ago, so it's got to make some hot coals, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this tin. It's basically your standard popcorn tin from Christmas time and obviously dump popcorn out of it and I fill it up with hardwoods ranging from we got some elm oak and hickory sticks mixed in between so they can keep it nice and tight and what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on it we're going to pop a little hole in it and we're going to see if it makes charcoal now like I said this works with char cloth so why not charcoal so I'll get back when I got some coals and I'll stick this bad boy on the fire cool all right, now that we got a good bed of coals going, we're gonna take our tin and put it directly on the coals. You don't gotta put it all the way in the fire, but I mean, I put it pretty close when I'm doing charcoal, char cloth, so let's go ahead and put it right here. And throw some wood around it. All right, now what you should see is you should see it start to heat up and then you'll see smoke start to come out of that little hole you put on top. And of course the wind changes right in me. <sighs> Sorry about that, the wind got me. Watch it turn again. Anyway, you're going to see some smoke start coming out of that hole on top. When it starts coming out, that's good. And then you're going to see it catch fire, which is the gas that's being released inside the wood. It's, uh, it's basically igniting all the pre-combustibles in the wood. That way you don't have to worry about doing it again whenever you go to relight the charcoal. So the, all that's normal. Now you want to heat this on the fire until all that smoke and whatever stops. When it stops smoking out that little hole, you're done. All right, this is what I mean when I say smoke's going to start coming from the hole. You see, just bellowing out. You want to make sure you have a loose fitting lid. That way, if it does build up too much pressure, the lid can just pop off. But that little hole right there should give you all the relief you need. Now pretty soon it's going to catch on fire, and when it does, you know you're almost done. Okay, so I think we're winding down. One thing I wanted to note from this experiment is I think that my hole, my relief hole, was a little too small because when it got around the max burn and that smoke started to catch fire like I was talking about, I couldn't film it because the lid was popping off. And I don't want to introduce too much air in there because I don't want the actual charcoal to burn. I wanted to turn to charcoal, so I had to fight to basically vent the lid to get all that pressure out but not let it fly off to the point where my charcoal gets ruined so all right now i don't know if you can tell but all the smoke that's coming out from around the lid is catching on fire so that's just what i was talking about when i said it was going to catch on fire uh, i thought it was done you know about an hour ago and uh it just hasn't stopped smoking and obviously it's still kicking so it's definitely some moisture still in there i mean i put a lot of wood in there so i didn't you know I don't doubt it takes a long time, but there it goes. All right, flame out the top. It looks like we're just about there. Shouldn't be any minute now. Once that stops, she comes off the fire. All right, she's done. Uh, just pulled it out of the fire about half hour ago. Let it cool down so I can touch it. And uh, it's substantially lighter, so we should have some pretty gnarly charcoal. Haven't opened it yet, so let's, uh, open up together shall we oh Ooh. dirty there we go that's what's left over so looks like it did exactly what it was supposed to so let's see yep she get the bark off Still kind of warm and it crumbles perfectly so that wood has turned completely into carbon now the reason why i wanted to do this and why i wanted to try it and it's so important is charcoal is used for everything from making gunpowder to eating it if you you know eat something poisonous it'll make you throw up and it'll absorb some of the toxins and most importantly what i'll be doing next is making a water filter because charcoal when it's 
very fine is mo what's in most of your filters. So that's why I wanted to do this now because I wanted to make some charcoal so I can use this batch and make a water filter this week. So uh, with that being said, if you learned something new today, because I sure did, uh, <laughs> I learned that you have to put a little bigger hole because uh, this lid kept popping off on me. It was driving me insane. But too much pressure was building up so uh, next time uh, I'll widen the hole a little bit use the same tin uh, took about four hours all together just make sure you have a pretty good afternoon and uh, with that being said I will catch y'all tomorrow all right later